Hey students, sorry, I got a call from a telemarketer and so my video stopped. So I'm just gonna pick up right where we left off, going through number one. So I can't remember quite where we were, but we have, we're looking at the blue directions down. So I have one hole right here and then eight of these 10 columns filled in over here. So this would be one and eight tenths. And then this direction, I just shaded in two tenths. So we're finding two tenths of this one hole and two tenths of the eight tenths. So this would be zero and two tenths. And so the equation we would come up with is one and eight tenths times two tenths. Okay, let's go ahead and take our two colors and see if we can practice shading. So for this one, we are gonna color seven tenths down. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's my seven tenths down. And now I'm going to do eight tenths across. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so then now I need to count up all my overlapping. So I would have in this first row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I can kind of count by sevens because I know I'm going down to just this purple line down here. So we have seven, 14 with the second row, 21 with my third row, and then 28 with my fourth row, and really we're just skip counting by sevens. And then 35 with my fifth row, 42 with my sixth row, and then 49 with my seventh row, and then we would have 56 little black dots on our thing, and it would be 56 hundredths. So we modeled it, yes, it's beautiful. We use colors um, and it's a great representation of how we're, uh, decimal is, this is a part of a part, um, which would be, can be kind of hard to visualize. And so our answer is actually smaller than both of those. If I look at my seven tenths, well, my answer got smaller because um, five tenths is less than seven tenths. Same with my eight tenths is greater than the five tenths that we got. So when we multiplied those two decimals that are less than one, our answer got smaller. Okay, but you can also just do our uh, multiplication with it. So eight times seven, now well, that's 56. Eight times zero is zero, plus five is five. And then we're going to count up how many numbers we have to the right of our decimal point in both of our products. Factors, sorry, in both of our factors. So I'm gonna circle this seven, circle that eight. So then I come one, two over. My decimal is gonna go before it and I actually have to add in that zero to be a place like to help mark where my decimal point is. So we end up with the same answer, our zero and 56 hundredths, but this is just the visual representation of it. Okay, let's look at number one or number four. So what we have here is our two and one tenths, which I guess I will color in. So I'm gonna have totally shaded in. There's one hole. There's two holes. Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. And then it's just one tenth left over on the edge of it. And so what I'm gonna see on the other direction is one tenth. So we're just gonna shade in this top row. Bloop. Because you're finding one tenth of this first one, one tenth of the second one, and one tenth of one tenth on that third one. So then what I can do is count up how many little uh, overlappies I have to see what my answer will be. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And then you know you're gonna have another 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and then 21. So we have 21 hundredths because it's just remember the one little cube is worth a hundredth and I have 21 of them. Now again we can just do the multiplication 
So if I have my two and one tenth times one hundredth, well, one times one is one, one times two is two, and then I have to count up how many numbers I have to the right of the decimal. So if I circle my one here and my one here, well, I circle one, one, put in my decimal point, and my zero goes before it, you still get that same 21 hundredths there. Okay, we will practice a couple more in group. Um, don't forget your problems on Pearson.